morning 2nd of September and summer's finally returned we've just parked up at Honest to Slate Mine where we're going to do a circuit of Great Gable an alternative circuit uh, including Grey Knots Brandreth and Green Gable we've just left the Slate Mine where we've headed up the road a little bit towards the tramway but rather than take the pitched path that leads up to the tramway we've took a left at a metal post which I'll put a grid reference on for you so basically it's a quieter route than the pitched path and it also gets us to grey knots quicker follow this grassy path all the way up to grey knots it's a good clear defined path on the ground almost takes you straight to the summit of grey knots nearly at the top we're gonna come to a fence just up here and then follow the fence up to the summit you'll see a style in the fence don't cross it stay on the right hand side of the fence and keep heading up Grey Knot Summit 697 meters it's a Wainwright a Nuttall and a Burkitt from Grey Knot we're going to head on to Brandreth It's just a few hundred yards to the summit of Brandreth That's it up there Behind Brandreth you've got Green Gable And behind Green Gable you've got Great Gable Brandreth Summit, 715 metres It's a Wainwright, a Burkitt, a Hewitt and a Nuttall So far a very easy route to follow We're going to head from Brandreth over to Green Gable Drop down into Windy Gap Where things are going to start getting a little bit more technical
Green Gables Summit, 801 metres. It's a Wainwright, a Burkitt, a Hewitt, and a Nuttall. There's Great Gable, Go over the Pass of Windy Gap. There's Kirkfell, pillar behind Kirkfell. We're going to drop down into Windy Gap and then we're going to pick up that traverse path, the North Traverse, which is going to take us around to the White Napes and then eventually the Great Napes and the Napes Needle. Follow the cairns off Green Gable down into Windy Gap. Past the large cairn in the bottom of Windy Gap, which would eventually take you down onto the Moses Trod that path there. We're not going down that path. Head for this stone across the way and you'll see a very faint path leading away from the stone which is the North Traverse. So this is where things start to get a little bit more technical. It's not your bog standard route onto the summit of Great Gable. Take care on the North Traverse. The sun never shines in here so it's almost always wet and greasy. The route from now is exposed in places. So if you don't like exposure, don't even think about coming here. And very steep. Once we get round to the Great Napes, there's only two accessible routes onto Great Gable from the Napes. That's for a walker. The rest of the routes are climbing routes. We're going to use one of them walking routes. At the end of the North Traverse, the path will drop down towards Beckhead where we'll meet up with the path taking us round to the White Napes. Which is just to the left of us. That's Beckhead below us. Past this cairn. Once you hit the boggy bit at Beckhead, take the path left, which will eventually get you around onto the White Napes, just down here.
Once in the bottom of Beckhead, you'll find this big cairn walking in the direction of Last Water, which is just over there. Just on the side of the hill here, there's a clear traverse path taking you around the shoulder there and onto the White Napes. You might have to look hard for this path. It's a bit of a sketchy one to find from Beckhead. You can see it if you're looking for it, but you're maybe 50 to 100 yards of off-piste to get us onto the traverse path. Once on the path, stay on it. The path traverses all the way around Great Gable, almost the same height. A few little ups and downs, but you don't gain much and you don't lose much. Once you get to this small cairn, the white napes will start turning to the Great Napes. You're greeted with these fantastic views of the Scarfells. That's Wasdale down there and Waswater. Stay on the path. Once you're on this path now, you've either got to follow it to the end or turn around and go back. Don't ever consider going down. From this point or going up from this point it's almost impossible there's only one path and it's this one but it does get you all the way around as I said earlier we're not going right round to uh, Stayed Tarn we're actually gonna summit Great Gable from further around here and the route we're gonna take is Great Hell Gate as I said earlier, there's only two walking routes up onto Great Gable from here or slightly scrambly routes I would say steep routes one is Little Hellgate and one is Great Hellgate we're gonna go up Great Hellgate it's a little bit of a nemesis to me I did this route about 10 years ago in winter conditions and as I got further round started heading up the hill things got really bad a lot of snow blizzard I knew there was only one way and that was up the hill there was no way back down once I started going up Elgate um, so I eventually got up and over the summit of Great Gable and back down but I absolutely terrified myself I've kept meaning to come back so I've been watching the weather because it's been rubbish all summer I wanted perfect conditions and that's what we've got today Nape's needles up there if you want to thread a needle no thank you just stay at this level and keep going round as you can see the path's still there there's a little squeeze here with a cairn on the top of the rock Squeeze yourself through there. We passed the needle now. Once we get past this big buttress, we should be somewhere near to where we want to be. Incidentally, if you ever see anything on the map labelled gate, like Hawes Gate or Hellgate, it means there's usually a way through. 
we're going up the side of here the side of this great big buttress I'm going to start going up now I'll put you the grid reference on I'm going to keep close to the edge of this buttress Keep to the edge of the buttress Scramble your way through the scree You will eventually get through it and it does get easier But it's slippy at the beginning So just be careful If you're here in winter You shouldn't be Because I ain't coming back in winter There's a rock star beating me up again there's been no scrambling or technical stuff that a dog might struggle on it was all just a traverse path and then up through this scree I've hit scree again, I could carry on up through the scree but I'm just looking to my right I'm going to cross this scree and I'm going to end up on onto that grass there and then up to the same place, just looks a bit easier I'm going to stay on this grassy ridge because it's easy going It's a tough hard route definitely not for the faint hearted if you don't like exposure you won't out round the Great Napes or anywhere near Hellgate stick to the easier paths up Great Gable we're back on the main Stiehead Tarn path now heading for the summit of Great Gable Great Gable Summit, 899 metres It's a Wainwright, a Burkitt, a Madeline, a Hewitt and a Nuttall From the summit we're going to drop over to West Moulin Cairn and have a look at that fantastic view We've just dropped down to West Moulin Cairn Very ancient cairn on the end of Great Gable one of the greatest views in the Lake District across Wast Water there there's Hellgate that we just came up there's two ways that I know of you can go through that way onto this ridge and then up to West Merlin Cairn which is the way I did 10 years ago but today I cut across to the right and I came up what looked easier ground and I'm almost certain was easier ground and ended up on the main Stiehead Tarn path Well the clag's uh, dropped down on us so from the summit of Great Gable we're going to head back down off the ridge 
in the direction of Kirkfell and Beckhead where we were earlier and then we're going to catch up with the Moses Trod path and the tramway back into Honest to Slay Mine There's Beckhead just down there just follow the cairns down this ridge Once we're back down to Beckhead, we're going to take that path there Runs over the flanks of Brandreth Moses Trod And then it links up with the old tram road And then back down to Honest to Slay Mine A much needed drink for our Billy And allow Phil down Be first you lad So am I but I'm going to wait till we get to the stream <coughs> You can probably hear it in my voice I ran out of water about an hour ago And I really am thirsty but I'm not drinking that I'm going to wait till we get down here a bit <coughs> So from Beckhead Take a right And head off down To that path I just showed you before This one down here That's Windy Gap up there and this little stream down here just bubbles up out the ground somewhere it actually runs all the way down the valley turns into a big river and then runs into Ennerdale Cheers! That really is heaven Water to go, fantastic little device Nice easy comfortable path All the way back now Totally refreshed
path runs all the way to Fleetwith Drum House over there where the old mine workings are before we get there we're going to take a right at the dismantled tramway which will drop us back into Honest to Slate Mine this is the old tram line where we're going to take a right So I'm going to wrap my video up at this point We're not too far away from the slate mine now Probably about half a mile Just follow the old tram line all the way back down I'd like to say thank you for watching Thank you for subscribing If you haven't already subscribed And you like my content Please think about giving me a subscribe So yeah It's bye from me and it's bye from our lad the rock star who was down there somewhere that's honest to slate mine just ahead of me there i think the walk was about eight and a half mile in total some nice easy walking at times but some really tough hard exposed walking as well no place like i say if you don't like exposure Bye, see you next time.